come through which now makes it a lock dwelling my name is Jersey J uh, that's what I go by I'm also known as Draven Marcellus uh, that's the name that I adopted but my Christian name that I was given at birth was Joshua Oren Tonkin T-O-N-K-I-N um, I'm the third youngest son of Clyde Earl Tonkin the third also known as Sonny um, I'm also the son of Christine Elizabeth Tice at the age of 10 months old, the justice system came and seized me and my family. Uh, within that, I was physically, sexually, and mentally abused from the time that I was a baby till I was seven years old whenever I learned how to fight back. Um, at the age of eight, I, I had hung myself from a three-story tree. Uh, I'm at a three-story roof because they turned around and told me that the reason I was in foster care was because nobody loved me and nobody cared. These are people that were supposed to be searched and uh, background checked for the justice system and they just don't care about kids and uh, they don't they don't care about the homeless they don't care about the kids they don't care about anything uh, I went through 39 different foster homes I was in mental hospitals four different times group homes and uh, juvenile delinquent centers multiple times on top of that uh, I have bipolar post-traumatic stress disorder from violence that happened to me whenever I'm not even a vet how am I supposed to have post-traumatic stress disorder um, I was homeless at 14 whenever I started fighting the foster care system, running away on and off, getting picked back up, sent back in, running back away at the age of 17. And uh, they had pretty much given up on me. And at 18, they kicked me out uh, with nowhere to go, nothing, no help, no nothing. I went straight to the streets. Um, from there, I ran across <laughs> one of the most controversial families in the history of the United States, the Juggalos. Um, I got down with them. Uh, I worked with them, did everything. They were the first people that actually showed me love, that actually seemed to care. And uh, they're considered criminals and evil because they go against the grain of society and they embrace the hate that society brings them and they fight for what they believe in and they just don't stop. Um, now, unfortunately, unlike all good families, uh, we have our bad seeds. So, I mean, we do have bad seeds that have earned the label, but. That's not how it originated, that's not how it started, and it's not what it was about. It was supposed to be a family of misfits that had nothing, that had no one to love, no one to care, no one to even give a shit, and now they finally have it. So uh, I came down and I started doing activists. Uh, I started doing activism at the age of 18 uh, when the Mexican president came up here demanding that we give his illegal, his illegal immigrants the same rights as our citizens. I am a citizen, I have fought for, for the citizenship, and I'm not fighting against the American government, I'm fighting against the corruption. I love America, my father was a SEAL, I wanted to be in. But uh, if they cannot listen to children, and they cannot feed and give sleep to the homeless and the basic necessities that are our God-given right, not American-given right, not Ethiopian-given right, not Europe-given right, not any country you want to call given right, our God's given right to be human and to be free. I'm a freedom fighter. My dad was a freedom fighter. I will not stop being a freedom fighter. Street Family Alliance, I helped found. It's here to stay and we will not stop until our demands are met. Basically, freedom of speech. Uh, can I just get a, a little off subject and, and go on it? Okay. Um, the, uh, they uh, did a whole thing about this whole camping thing and the whole protest that we've been doing. And the judge themselves said that it was unconstitutional for them to move us or to th for them to mess with our tents that we had down at the Free Speech Plaza. And the council broke our rights. Willingly and knowingly broke our rights. 
as far as I knew, the cops were took an oath of serving and protecting. But all that they do anymore is serve out tickets to the homeless and the weak and protect the rich and the greedy. That's it. It's all it's ever been. We have no free speech anymore, and that's why I demand that they take down that statue. Yeah, so how about uh, home, uh, Eugene's claim as a humanitarian city? What do you think about that? Oh, I believe that there's plenty of humanitarians here, but uh, I don't believe that the elected officials are humanitarians. The people are the humanitarians. Uh, the elected officials forgot that they were elected by the people for the people. They think that they roll. This is a, PTSD has a new meaning to me. It's pretending tyranny is still dead um, because they do. They do it all day, every day. They pretend that they aren't tyrants and that they aren't doing everything. Well, they forget that our founding father, Thomas Jefferson, turned around and said that sometimes the tree of liberty has to be watered with the blood of patriots and tyrants. They also turned around and uh, JFK turns around and says that those who do not allow peaceful revolution to exist make true revolution inevitable. They're forgetting their own guidelines. They're forgetting what this country was founded on. This country was founded on revolutionaries and tyrants, uh, revolution, revolutionaries and immigrants. Sorry for that. Um, this whole country is immigrants. How can they turn around and tell us that we aren't free and that this isn't our country or that we have no rights? Who are they? Were they not born here? Do they not bleed red? Do they not have emotions, feelings, people that love them, people that care about them too? Or how would they feel if it was their kids on the street? See, they forget about us, but this is a promise I make. Any of your kids end out on these streets, the Street Family Alliance will stand. We will protect them and we will do right by them unlike you have done right by us. Blair has been ripped up and repaved five times in the last month. I live up there. I ride those streets every day. The first time they did it, it was good. That money could be going to one of these vacant houses that tweakers are rip, raping girls in. I know. I have one of my friends that just got raped. I have another homegirl that came to me because she was raped. Because you won't tear down these condemned buildings and you won't turn them into something for the house, house people. You want to attack people that are homeless. This is part of my citation, but I'm sorry you can't see the rest. I smoked it as a uh, cigarette rolling paper. Sleep deprivation, yeah, uh, I could talk on that all day. Um, <laughs> I have mental disorders. What do you think sleep de deprivation does to somebody like me? The simple fact that I can't sleep throws my mind into a cloud, into a haze. Unlike any other, I, I just, the emotions and the torment and everything that we go through having to deal with everything it, it is bull crap. I, I don't complain, I'm not complaining for myself. Some of the things that I have done are my own choices and I have made my own mistakes, but I'm out here fighting for the innocent, the ones that haven't. I fought so many battles and done so many things that I was not proud of. This is a fight I'm willing to do and one that I am proud of and I'm willing to take to the fullest extent.